Hey, what up, peeps? You know, I love science, but, uh, and science has brought us so many awesome things, but, um, the, the scientific attitude towards things that we don't know has always just astounded me. And uh, so I found out a couple things about the human body I thought I'd share. But, um, the, the first one is the junk DNA. The quote, 90% of our DNA is junk DNA. And they just told us that for years because they didn't know what it was. And uh, I find that to be astounding, you know, that since we can't explain something, we make up a story for it. And that's, in my eyes, why I say that science is like a religion in a lot of ways. And it can be, anyway. But um, I'm not bashing science. I just think that sometimes we approach it wrong. Now they found out that that 90% of DNA is not junk DNA. It contains all kinds of retroviruses and um, and things that we've that we utilize to help our bodies to grow and to avoid certain diseases and whatnot. And the other one that they found out was that the appendix, which all of our all of us have been told our whole lives that you don't need your appendix, that it's useless, that uh, it's just something that's left over from evolution. That's just another excuse because they didn't know what it was for. And uh, recently they found out that the appendix is actually utilized by the bacteria that help you to process food. And the bacteria use it as kind of a place to go and relax and reproduce so it can enter back in to your stomach to help to process your food. So these things do have uses, you know. And um, if science would just say, you know, we don't know what this is for, that would be fine, but they don't because it's it's ego. And science always wants to know the answer to everything. The two things that really astound me the most are uh, the Big Bang Theory and, um, uh, well, the Big Bang Theory just blows me away first off because, you know, they're, you're utilizing the best of 100 years worth of technological tools to try to determine how many billions of of years old our, our universe is and exactly how it started. And the, the Big Bang Theory still doesn't answer any questions. Why did it bang? What was before that? How did that little Big Bang speck come to be? But the one about dark matter always got me too. You know, we can't explain the forces that keep the universe from either shooting apart or collapsing in on each other, so we use dark matter to say that, you know, uh, 70, 80 percent of everything is dark matter, or 90, or whatever it is, and um, we still have no proof that dark matter exists, or what it is. But, you know, in time we'll find out, oh, we thought it was dark matter, but dark matter is this. But at least dark matter is a word given to describe something we don't know yet, a force we don't know. And um, it may not be matter at all, who knows, but... It's just fascinating to me, you know, the, the, the stories that science makes up, you know, when they don't know something. And uh, I think that's just kind of human nature, you know, to, we want to know the answers. You know, one more fascinating thing that I learned about the human body, though, to finish up, was that um, <clears throat> our bodies are made of... There are about 10 trillion living cells in our body, but there are 10 times as many foreign bacteria and other creatures living in our body. So. Basically, we are 10% human and 90% bacteria. We are just basically hosts for other creatures, as well as, as Terence McKenna called it, humans were created for nothing more than to spread seeds for the plant kingdom. <laughs> it's an interesting viewpoint, but uh, eh, that's it. Just some interesting things about humans. It's just uh, humans and science. One science thing really gets me, you know. Now we're going to find out, uh, uh, kind of like the thing with 90%, or would say that we only use 10% of our brain, and that we, we haven't utilized the other 90%. And this led to all kinds of belief systems about why, and, and how this is our psychic centers, and stuff we aren't using. Now they found out that we do use 100% of our brain. We just use it at different times. And uh, we don't use it all at once. We don't have enough energy to run it that hard. So, um... You know, we live, we learn. It's just that take everything you learn with a grain of salt, man, because uh, when science isn't sure about something, they tend to make up stories for it. And I think that's just human nature. We've made up stories for everything. But that's what we do.